You see, when that news been ball out, see, the lawmakers inside River State that defected from PDP to APC at a time that they were not supposed to defect because there was no crisis in their party. Uh, we don't make now, they don't declare their seat vacant. But then come and say they don't defect to sign affidavits, do everything, even announce them on the floor of the Senate. Uh, but PDP enter court, go they argue, say, people that defected are still members of their party. Uh, they, they, are, they are not members of the APC, that they are still members of their party. So therefore, they should be reabsorbed into the national into the state house of assembly. So they can eventually Boshu Fubara come out from office. Their own governor. When I've been talking, say PDP been go submit uh, 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 affidavits I'll be waiting they call them for court. Say these people in a stadium. Most of them don't believe me. Most of them, how PDP go do that kind of thing? Hey, 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 that PDP has always stood against people that defected. Though. How PDP now gonna say that people that defected are same members of them? Okay, I'll go play you one video now. You go hear them by yourself. If there is one person that has always tried to protect the integrity in the West of Wicked, the integrity of the PDP, they try to call them to order. Say, make one forget sense now. Make 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 one destroy this party. Now, this man, Honorable Imo Ugochinere, the guy don't carry him on top his shoulder now today. To the to the full of PDP, bomba to bomba. Now him come out to control us. Eh? We can go connive with PDP national body. May they can't claim say people with defects. Say eh, that's the members of the PDP because we could not see say him and the people with defects. They don't f up because he was doing it to get back at Fubara, but he didn't know that he was further destroying the structure. He he he, he is trying or he was trying to protect inside River State. Now for him to amend his ways. He don't go connive with that man where they claim say and i be acting chairman of the pdp damagum see they are two here now them now go around and say people will defend as the members of the pdp when i know the ever if i talk when i know the ever agree with Mwa. make we hear from Ugochi because he get within him won't talk now he won't show the world how useless pdp they now because i've always maintained that pdp is very useless PDP in this era, in this dispensation, all the very useless because how can you not protect your own? And you are protecting the interest of a man that is one leg in, one leg out, one leg, in, one leg in APC, one leg in, in PDP. Now that, that that when I suppose don't push you come out from the party since because of antipathy, but when I still leave him, he carry on the play ludo, siki, siki one, siki six, eh? Very useless, but make a note of someone. Make gonna help me see as we go to the think table this matter. As you take his pen, I'm saying, Oh, last, last, my party PDP or the useless. Watch this video, come to the conversation and tell me what you think. Your two cents, put it in the conversation. Watch this video. <laughs> to be frank with you. This is one of the painful moments our intra-party democracy is going through. And without missing word, our party leadership at the national and at the state level have been highly compromised as it has to do with rivers. You have a party leadership that have refused to step forward to condemn the key actors who have made this situation very difficult for our party and wants to steal the mandate of the party. You have a party leadership that deliberately, despite the alarm that was raised, appointed caretaker committee for our party in Rivers, led by members of APC. If you remember, I raised this issue. They said they were going to step it down at the next meeting. In the middle of the night, they came up and said they have an expert order, which none of us have seen, and went ahead and published these people as officers of our party. So when you ask me, why is it that much is not coming from the PDP? I'll ask you which PDP. Because the people that are there are not members of PDP, and that is why they cannot stand up to defend the interests of our party. We have a party leadership that is unable to know where to draw a line between their personal affiliation with one of the key actors in this whole crisis, which is the FCT minister, and the interests of our party. You are even aware that they were supposed to conduct the election to bring a substantive chairman by August. But while we are sleeping, they have issued another notice that until September, so deliberately, they don't want the party to move forward. They want to destroy the party. Let me tell you, 
Even today, if you remember, during the days of Aswaj, just with AC to ACN, he led a strong opposition movement that crystallized to a mega alliance that defeated our party. But now you have our, some of our governors and our party national leadership. They don't even want to mention the name Fubara with their mouth because they are so scared. Maybe the FCT minister will not be happy with them. Normally, governors elected on the platform of opposition party are supposed to have stormed rivers in solidarity with our party. But they don't care because they are elevating some of their personal affiliation above the interests of survival of opposition in the country. So this whole thing to me is a joke. The party is not doing anything, not to even say they are doing much or not. They are not doing anything in terms of speaking with strong voice, in terms of coming forward to insist. In short, as a matter of fact, as we are away, you saw our party going to the low level of filing an application in court to even say that those who have left our party are still members of our party so that they can help them get legitimacy to remove our party in office in rivers. It's so painful. And it's so painful that these are the same people that have swore to affidavit. Affidavit, thank God I even came with it to this year's studio. They swore to affidavit in court that on December 11, 2023, that they have left the People's Democratic Party to join APC. But our own party, in their own affidavit, is saying they have not left so that they can get a court order that will help them to remove Obama from office. So this whole thing is a joke and is a low level for opposition politics in Nigeria. Never in the history of opposition politics anywhere in Africa can a political party abandon its own vision, abandon its own agenda in pursuit of interest that is personal and cannot help to the growth of democracy. But do you, do you think that they should take sides with the governor or they should intervene in the issue of the party itself? The FCT minister, as we speak, Although he's serving under the APC administration, he's still a member of the PDP. The governor is still a member of the PDP. There are some lawmakers who are still members of the PDP, and others is a subject of adjudication, so I'm careful, who have defected and the issue of whether or not they've defected. So it's a gamut of issues. Is it about taking sides, or is it about coming to intervene, whether at the state level or at the federal level? There's no need for any intervention here, first of all. You have elected members of your party, 27 of them, who got up one morning without any division in your party, say they are no longer members of your party, and claim that because there are discussions for merger between NMPP and Labour Party, they have left. That doesn't amount to division. And then they moved into another party, changed all the laws, they were amending laws that will make sure your party does not survive in rivers, including making attempts to impeach your governor. There will be no intervention. The line has been clearly drawn on this particular matter. Then you have a member of your party, a former governor, who has benefited immensely from the party as a local government chairman, as a chief of staff, as a minister, as a governor. The party gave him an enormous platform to reach the height he is today. But he decides to work for the ruling, for the ruling party that doesn't want your own party to survive. And then boldly goes publicly to say that his commitment is to ensure that your political party, the PDP, does not come anywhere near winning any presidential election till after 2027. So there cannot be any intervention. They are no longer members of the party. They have declared war on the party. They are committed to destroying the party. So what you do is to protect what you have. But because you are in bed with him, you don't want to even protect your party. You just want the party to be dead. You don't want the party to move forward so that they can execute the assignment they have been given. So there is no need for any intervention here because they have clearly said they don't want the party to win. They don't want the party to survive beyond 2027. So what are you intervening? It's on, it's on video. I watched it on your TV during their Thanksgiving or reception in River. They said it clearly. So it is not left for the national leadership of the party to say no. This is not what this party was set up to do. Because you are not aligning with the vision of the party, because you don't want the party to win the election, which is one of the functions of political party, and because you don't want the party to be a strong opposition party, give way. But our own political party is even giving them the legal backing and giving them the enabling environment for them to continue the, 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 the uh, anti-party activity to the extent of filing cases in court to aid them. So we don't have a party leadership. We just have, you know, people that uh, APC have imposed on us and want to continue to impose on us with the sole aim of ensuring that we don't go anywhere beyond right. the place where we are today. Imagine a country where its citizens get to enjoy the road without this. Imagine a country where unprecedented fuel scarcity does not cause panic at the filling station. That is why innocent vehicles has embarrassed.
back the manufacturing environmental friendly gas powered cars while still offering comfort, luxury, and doggedness for the African roads. Innocent vehicles, the pride of African roads.